Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. Remember to use the nav bar at the bottom to skip to your favorite topic at any point. Now let's start with the TLDR. Use the Unity game engine to build games for the TV with the new Google Cast Remote Display plugin for Unity. The Google Cast Remote Display APIs use the powerful GPUs, CPUs, and sensors of your Android or iOS mobile device to render a local display on your mobile device and a remote display on your TV. Leon is going to join us later on the show to give us more details. Great to be here. Learn how to build, update, and use containers on the Google Cloud Platform with this tutorial by Julia Ferrioli. It's a four-part series of blog posts that gives you a great hands-on introduction using something familiar to many of us, running a Minecraft server. I know it's familiar to all of us. Build powerful applications that can see and, more importantly, understand the content of images. This functionality is now available in the Google Cloud Vision API. Rob Kraft is on the show today to tell us more. Thanks for having me. Tap for Fun increased their game's rating above 4.0 by using the review system to address user problems as well as beta testing to improve the quality of their games from within the Google Play Developer Console. Find out how in this video with Tap for Fun's CEO founder and their creative director. Learn more about the improvements to sign in with Google with this latest post in a series by Lawrence Moroni. He talks about changes to basic sign-in flow, silent sign-in, and customizing the sign-in button. Understand what users Google search is driving to your app, as well as how those users behave once they're in your app using Deep Link Refer Analytics. Hey, a new version of Chrome, just like clockwork. The latest beta includes present to cast, custom notification buttons, and network estimation. The Google Maps SDK for iOS has been updated to include bit code support, new events, and some features previously only available in the Android SDK. All that and more today, on The Developer Show. Let's start the show by talking about games. Leon Nichols, a developer programs engineer, worked on the Google Class Remote Display plugin for Unity. Leon, welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell us a little bit, what is the plugin? Maybe what is Unity for those few people that don't know sure. what it is? And a little bit about the API for Google Cast, the Remote Display API. Okay, so Unity is a very popular game engine used by a lot of games. And what we launched last week was a plugin that allows you to take our remote display technology and take your game, your mobile game, and make it run on a TV. Okay, so you already got a mobile game running on Unity, and you sort of expand that into the living room. That's right. So you're curing my back problems. So yeah, well, <laughs> nice. we'll see. Yeah. Nice. So this is great for the living room, right? You can take your existing game and just add the plugin and now use our technology to render that on the TV. And we support um, all the popular uh, platforms, Android and iOS, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to integrate. So we've launched a sample app. We've also launched a code lab and some updates to our UX guidelines to make sure that you create a great cast game. Awesome. Great. So one last thing is, is about the, the cast remote display APIs. And I think something that people might not know is uh, the real power of these, um, aside from just taking your existing game and kind of expanding to the TV, not having to learn a new thing, is you get to take advantage of all the hardware on the phone. Yes. So you don't have to rely on uh, the hardware of whatever Google Cast device you might be using, but rather the, the GPUs and the CPUs uh, in the phones that people are upgrading every year or two anyway. Yes. So you can now render great animation, great graphics, great sound, and put that on a very low-end cost device like a Chromecast. That's awesome. All right. Thanks, Leon. Have you ever wondered how you can use notifications to build a deeper relationship with the user instead of pushing them away? I caught up with Chris Wren at the Android Developer Summit to learn how. Hi there, I'm sitting here with Chris Wren. He's a staff software engineer here at Google. Although if you looked at his business card, it would say maker. It does. Because you make things. Because I make things, that's right. <laughs> Today we can talk a little bit about uh, making things with notifications. You gave a talk Great. here at Android Dev Summit I about did. notifications. You should check it out for more info. But there's just a couple things I wanted to uh, touch upon. First of which, I think this gets glossed over when developers start to think about notifications, is like, why do they care? I think what developers don't think about is that, that notifications are the first place often the users come into their phone. And that's your opportunity to build trust, uh, to deliver information that they need and they can act upon, mm -hmm. and not just do something that's obviously for your own benefit, the benefit of your app. So it's, it's about building trust in a relationship with the user, really. Yeah. So when so. you think about like the notifications that you give your user, you shouldn't just think about, how do I like uptick that graph of user attention, right. like right, entry? Right, right. I mean, because uh, one of the things you talk about in your in your talk is that you know uninstalling an app is really only a click away. Right. If you're not delivering value to the user, 
then why are you there? Why are you in my pocket? Right? Yeah. So, so imagine an SMS app that said, hey, you'll never guess what message you just got. Right? That would be terrible. You would uninstall that like in an instant. Okay. And what would be the better alternative than the SMS app there? What would you do? Well, obviously, you should give the user the information they need. Like, don't, don't tease them. Like, show them the message. Uh, maybe even give them some actions about, oh, I don't need to deal with this now. Like, snooze. Tell me that later or something. Right? So right. Let them get on with their life. Let them manage their life. They'll come back if they're happy with the app. Everybody, please check out Chris's excellent talk on notifications so that you can build a great, trustworthy relationship with your user from the get-go. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Thank you. Next on the show, let's talk about the Cloud Vision API. Rob Kraft, a product manager for the Google Cloud Platform, is, joins us on the show today. Great to be here. So let's talk about the Cloud Vision API. Now, in particular, it, it, we recently announced this, and the internet is uh, a buzz with excitement. I mean, the, the Cloud Vision API is a really awesome tool for developers. Um, first, I, I'd love to know a little bit more about the technology behind it and what it gives developers, um, and then move into talking about use cases. What, what sure. can be done with this API? Yep. So Vision API you can look at as a very easy way to use machine learning to do a whole different class of application. Mm. So machine learning is all about training models, forming models, massaging data for models. There's models is what I'm getting at. So inside of that space, there's a lot of PhDs. There's a lot of lab coats. Frankly, at Google, we spend a lot of time building out infrastructure yeah. for it. Vision API makes it very simple. You send us an image. We send you back what you asked for, whether it was sentiment analysis on who's smiling or not smiling in the photo, what is actually there, like all the way down to genus of plant mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, what the composition of the photo is, is it a happy space, an unhappy space, those sorts of things that we uh, think really transform what a developer can do today versus what they used to do. A great scenario uh, that we talked about a couple of times is the idea of if you're shooting video for a show, you might have the opportunity to say, well, I don't want to have to go through and manually plumb who, who or where people were in a particular shot or what was on stage at a particular time. It'd be great if I were able to feed keystone images into a system and it spits it back out for me. Because imagine you're running commercials for 50 shows a week. It's a workload that isn't all that interesting. So how do we fix that for you? So the Vision API really enables that across a lot of new areas. There's tons of amazing scenarios coming, so it's going to be really interesting in six months when people are done. So this is great for app developers like me, because if I have to make sense of an image, I don't really know where to begin. So now you're telling me Google will just do that work for me? That's really great. The, the trick inside of the box is we keep it out of your vision. So we want to make it very <laughs> simple. So machine hey, learning yeah. is a tough space. It's hard to simplify it too much without losing the baby and the bathwater. Mm. We want to make it just very, very simple for you. You know, this is something that we were talking about before the show, which I, th I think is uh, really interesting when you look at machine learning and its growing popularity in the developer space. Um, I think a big part of that is that it's becoming accessible, right? That APIs and tools are coming out to allow developers to integrate this in their app without the PhD in um, cognitive sciences and mathematics to be able to build these things from the ground up. Yep. The core technologies uh, that come from our own research group um, have been used in other areas inside of Google for a while and how we optimize our own business, like search or photos do a great job of taking the TensorFlow kind of modeling capabilities and using it to solve our own problem set. Uh, we're in the cloud platform business in Google Cloud, so we try to make it simple for everybody else to get the same experience. Mm -hmm. And tooling it down to a level where you don't have to have your PhD in, in the space really makes the difference. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Rob. Sure. Okay, let's get to the final question of our show, which is, how will you use the Google Cloud Vision API to make your holidays better? And uh, extra points for silliness. So there's the Charlie Brown Christmas, mm. right? Everyone knows this. Mm -hmm. So are the ki children really that depressed and unhappy? Let's see what Vision API has to say. Okay. <laughs> Leon. Um, so, okay, this might be a little bit serious, but I think I'm going to use the Vision API to let Google watch movie trailers for me and then tell me which movies to watch. Am I going to watch the Star Wars movie or the Chipmunks movie? <laughs> it comes out on the same day. They come out on the same day? How are we going to decide? <laughs> du double double header. header. Clearly, double <laughs> header. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Sure. Hey, you've got questions. Turns out we've got answers in our new segment called Ask Dev Show. This isn't a selfie stick. It's an answer machine for questions that only a Googler can answer. Ask me almost anything in the comments or on social media, and I'll get you your answer. Smash on Twitter asked if I could find out what's in the box. Rada. Timothy. This is your office. This is absolutely my office. This is not your office. This is completely my office. This, uh, the nothing is plugged in down there, and you're watching cat videos. 
second. Maybe it is your office. What's in the box? Which box? That box right there. Oh. The Android Studio box. Yes. So Android Studio 2.0, right yeah. on top here. Uh, instant run, new okay. emulator. Yeah, emulator faster, great. Oh, prettier, what's that nice. In the corner there. Oh, that's, uh, that's. Can we? Can we? That's not that's important. Pretty. No, you don't have to. Don't have to worry we about. We can't that. talk about that. We yet? can't talk about that. Okay. Well, that's what's in the box, or at least as much as we can talk about.